reach some of the boys on Bougainville who've been bombing the Japs. New Zealand crews standing by for another trip over a bow. And here come the bombs they'll take with them. The American invasion of Bougainville gave us this vantage point from which we could strike at Rabaul, heart and center of Japan's South Pacific stronghold. For weeks now, we've been pounding it to cinders, but still the Japs are holding on. These torpedo bombers of the RNZAF are fueling and bombing up to strike again. Last bombs on board, the crews are ready. They're old hands now at bombing Rabaul, and they've faith in their planes. These American-built Grumman Avengers are torpedo bombers with plenty of speed. They can jettison their bombs if they strike trouble and take on anything. They've already proved their worth in smashing the Jap. They move up for the takeoff. It's no joyride ahead. Of recent weeks, the Japs have sent up few zeros in defense of their base, but they do send up heavy anti-aircraft fire. The dispatcher bats them off, and the first planes are away. Target is Rabaul. The town of Rabaul itself is now shattered and blackened from pounding, but there are still supply dumps and flying strips waiting to be plastered. Over the target now, they peel off. started fires, but they're coming in lower still. The flak gets heavier, no lingering here. Coming away from their target, they leave behind them columns of smoke. More ruins and more destruction for the Japs to patch up, if they can. Headed for home, Rabaul has had it again. Another raid is over, and another job well done by men and planes of the Royal New Zealand Air Force. These fishermen hauling in their set lines are working for a double purpose. For today, the saleable part of their catch includes fish livers as well as edible fish. This is a cook straight groper. Groper liver oil has almost the highest vitamin content of any oil in the world, 30 times that of cod liver oil. Ling is another important fish for liver oil. As the fishing launches return to Island Bay, the gulls follow as of old, but they don't get livers anymore. As the catch is cleaned, the livers are put aside in boxes. Here, Ling livers are being minced in the new Island Bay refinery built by Karatani Products. The minced material is tipped into steam-heated vats. The particular vitamins it contains are not damaged by this cooking. Here's the pure oil. Centrifuges, acting like cream separators, drive it out from the water and solid matter. A sample is being taken for the laboratory. As local supplies cannot meet all the needs of this plant, fish livers come from the South Island too. A truckload has just arrived. The truck goes away again with a load of oils and arrives at the main Karatani factory at Melrose, Wellington. At today's world prices, a 40-gallon drum of the finest grover oil can replace perhaps 600 pounds worth of imports. But no one is making a fortune out of this wartime industry. Here, a blend of the oils is going into the mixing vat to add its fats and vitamins to malt, butter, and other ingredients to make a children's supplementary food.
To make an extra check on the vitamins, carefully dieted young rats are used. They're very tame. The animals have to have their weights taken regularly. Young rats are used because they react to shortages like growing children. Rats can get rickets. Here's a chemical method of vitamin testing. It has already proved that there are seasonal changes in the strengths of the oils. The method depends on measuring the tint produced by the oil in a particular colored solution. The new oil goes into the mixers. Two stories down, the mixed product fills neatly into sterilized tins. If ever a mechanical cow is invented, it should look rather like this. The tins start along the conveyor belt. They're sealed and counted. The lids are pressed on. They go rolling through a labeling machine and take on a form familiar to thousands of children. They're just a continuation of the work of the late Sir Troby King, whose portrait hangs nearby. The new oils have made these products independent of Atlantic cod liver oil supplies, supplies which have been scarce ever since the refineries of Norway had to be destroyed to deny them to the Nazis. These resources which were lost and which will soon be regained are also being replaced by pioneering work in our own Cook Straits and in other Pacific waters. Thank <laughs> you.